Well, Robbie, it's, uh, it's great to finally meet you and uh, great to hear that your forest career is on the verge of taking off now that uh, the club have, uh, have got your work permit. Must be an exciting time for you. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a little bit of a wait and uh, definitely excited uh, to, to get going here in the next week or so, hopefully. Um, I'm just, just thankful for everybody that, that did what they did to, to be able to get that work permit. I know they worked hard and, uh, um, just like you said, ready, ready to go and I'm excited. Was it a nervous wait for you while uh, Billy Davis and Mark Arthur in, were in the hearing? Definitely, it was. It's been on my mind for the, I mean, past couple of weeks, and definitely the the past the past night, uh, waiting to hear what the result was going to be. But um, uh, they felt confident going into it, which uh, helped me out. And at the end of the day, I mean, it was really out of my hands. So um, uh, just just very excited. What's the plan now? Do you have to go back to the States to, to get your visa and then you can come back and become a Forest player? Yeah, I think you've got to, got to go back to, to the States and, and do some paperwork and then uh, hopefully next week be back uh, towards the end of the week maybe. You've been here for a week or so now and you've had a, a good look around the place. Uh, what sort of vibe do you get about uh, Nottingham Forest? Um, it's definitely got a, got a lot of uh, history to it. I've noticed that. And as far as the team, uh, I'm, I like the way the coaching staff runs things. And I uh, met a lot of the guys, and they're really cool guys. So I'm um, just looking forward to be able to, to get them to get to know them a little better and, and get on the field and, and, and get playing. Was coming to Europe always an ambition of yours then as far as your career is concerned? Yeah, ever since I was little, just growing up, uh, I was told myself if I had the chance to to try and go over overseas somewhere, um, I would take it, and uh, thankfully I've had that opportunity, and uh, I'm going to make the best of it. Do you follow English football much in, in, in the uh, States? I just watch a few games. I mean, lately I've been watching a lot more, but um, I, I'd watch the EPL games when they came on. Uh, those would come on a lot more over in the States, so uh, I'd keep my eye on it a little bit. What sort of Forest, or what sort of player can Forest fans expect to see then? Just describe, you know, your attributes. Um, pace, uh, hardworking. Uh, I mean, it just depends. I guess I give you. I can give you a lot, and uh, I know I'll just. I'll work hard, and I'll never give up, and do what everybody asks me to do, and um, that's it. And a man with a real eye for goal as well. Uh, yeah, uh, it's been it's been my job ever since I started playing, and um, that's what I'm here for. Of course, you're arriving here. Some English fans will know you from the World Cup last summer when you, you lined up against England. What sort of an experience was was that to be part of all that? Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, just like I said, I'd, I'd watch games of some of those guys in the EPL, and to be able to walk out in the tunnel and onto the same same field with them was was a dream come true. Um, but learned a lot just within the all, my own U.S. national team um, of guys that have been in the Premiership and and doing it for a long time. So um, it's I've definitely made strides in the, in the past couple of years and hoping to make more. And did South Africa help you develop as a player as well? Do you think that you came back from the World Cup a better player than you were when you left? Yeah, I learned a lot. I mean, watched a lot of, lot of video from other teams and stuff like that. And uh, I was nervous going into the games, but as I got into it, my nerves, my nerves calmed and uh, I felt comfortable in the game. So um, in, in that area and as far as playing quickly, uh, I think I've accelerated it. MLS season's been over for what six, seven, eight weeks now. So, so how's how's your fitness? I mean, when do you think you'll be ready for pushing for a first team place here? It's good. I've been I've been doing some stuff back home in Arizona, running and doing some ball work uh, on my own, and with a couple of uh, my my friends back home. So, uh, I think I mean just it's right around the corner. Just a day, some days or a week, and I'm ready to go. Of course, you're going to be something of an unknown quantity to a lot of teams in the championship, aren't you? When you do finally get your chance. Yeah, yeah. Um, so when I, yeah, when I get that opportunity, I'm gonna make the most of it. And um, like you said, uh, if I have that opportunity in front of goal, I'll be able to put it away. Well, you're going out on the pitch before kickoff this afternoon. I'm sure you'll get a great reception, and I hope your Forest career proves to be really successful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it.